alarming video has been making the rounds on the internet featuring a young girl openly burning the holy quran has been making the rounds on the internet mm. featuring a young girl openly burning the holy quran while wearing a head scarf the, head the scarf. girl's motives and her identity as a muslim mm. it is truly heartbreaking and outrageous that muslims are now also starting to participate in such hostile acts mm. but is the hijab girl as guilty as she is declared by the people if we take a closer look at the video and try to understand what the lady is saying after desecrating the quran now mufti you makes video you know voice land very informative i sit and sometimes i listen to recitals mm. that people send me online or on youtube or elsewhere of amazing boys and girls from across the globe whose recitation is so beautiful mm. that you can listen all night and you'll still be mm. mashallah mashallah amazing beautiful what about us when you hear a good recital pause it for a moment and try to repeat it no matter who you are you mm. can be an old person the only problem is if you smoke too much your throat might be a bit croaky mm -hmm. but that's okay you can read beautifully mashallah beautifully try and imitate it allah will be pleased with you imagine Very you're trying nice. to read the quran i'm doing mm. a good thing it's okay have you tried it read the quran in a melodious voice try it because on the day of qiyamah allah is going to ask you to read mm. you can't just look up and say hey you know what uh, i can't you can mm -hmm. Have you memorized a portion of the Quran? The answer is yes. We all know Surah Al-Fatiha. We know a few other surahs and so on. So on the day of Qiyamah, you may be asked to read that. Mm. What are you going to do? Start reciting, do practicing right from now in a melodious mm. voice. Because that hadith says you will only be able to read the way you used to read on earth. Mm. Some of us don't even read Quran. Come on, you can change that habit. Mm. You know, if you were to know what's going on, and I'm sure many of you do, if I know, and I'm sure a lot of us here do. Mm. The amount of effort that our boys and girls and adults are putting into learning moves of your foot and your hands and your head and the movement of your body just for TikTok. Mm, just the for TikTok. amount of effort that mm. is being made to learn those moves in order to create a 30 second clips. You, you need 1% of the effort in order to become the most powerful reciter of Quran in the whole world. Mm. Did you hear what I just said? And I'm not joking. If you know anyone of your relatives or you or anyone else who makes an effort to shake your body and to learn the moves of your legs according to a certain sound of mm. those who can believe they can fly and whatever else, you must remember one thing. That effort, you only need 1% of it to be one of the top reciters in the whole world mm. of the Quran. Because the Quran is different from all of that. But the Quran, when you come towards it, mm. it will come towards you even faster. Even faster. When you make an effort towards the word of Allah, Mm. It will make an effort towards you. Towards you know you. why? Because that's Allah's kalam. That's Allah's word. And Allah tells us, if you want to come towards me, I'll rush towards you. Mm. You come towards me afoot, I come towards you more. You come towards me walking, I come towards you rushing. That's Allah. Make an effort with it. Mm. Imagine the amount of effort. And I promise you, whenever I hear of it or even see it in passing, I tell myself, Oh Allah, guide this ummah and guide all of us to channel our efforts in the right direction. Amen. Every day Amen. we create videos to put on TikTok mm. and to put on here in order to let people look at something and in order for it to be liked and viewed in a way that it's negative. I think we can do the positive. We ones. can do that. All of us. Mm. You can use Inshallah. your social media in order to earn paradise, not in order to go the other way. No, Doctor Zakir Naik video, same question Bible and what will be the answer? Please watch that. Why should Muslim degrade the non-Muslims? Mm. And it's a very good question. We are not allowed to insult a non-Muslim. Mm. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Anam, chapter 6, verse 108, Revile not those who they worship God besides Allah. Mm, besides Lest Allah. In the ignorance, they will revile Allah subhanahu mm. wa ta'ala. We are not supposed to insult or degrade any other God which they are worshipping. Mm, it's yes. prohibited. You Bible four times. Sorry? You just did Bible four times. Eh? You did Bible four times. You proved Bible four times that Bible is wrong. Ah. Mm. He's saying I proved Bible. I'm not insulting no. if it is. Okay. Brother, 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. Is it correct? Yes, sir. 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. Is it correct? No. Was it? Correct or wrong? Wrong. Oh, mm. so you're insulting me now. Are you insulting me? Mm. I'm not are, you, are you insulting me? Are you insulting mm. me? What? Are you insulting me by saying 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 is wrong? Mm. I'm insulting you. I'm telling you it's wrong. Correct. It Very is. good. Same thing I'm telling. <laughs> Where am I insulting? Sense. I'm only telling it is wrong. When I say 2 plus 2 is equal to 5, you're telling I'm wrong. You're saying you're insulting me. Mm. Same way, I'm not insulting the Bible. I'm telling Bible is wrong. If Bible That's says, I, in the, if the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, verse number 16, light of the moon, its own light, it is wrong. Mm. What is wrong? I have to say is wrong. Mm. But I'm not insulting. I'm not. Am I insulting? 
No. Yes, of course. You are feeling insulted. No. Because you are feeling right. Why is it that it has to be that way? No, you two are... plus two is not five. We understand that. But it is right? not. Bible is the word of God, and if if I am ble- if Bible I am believing, Bible is the word of God according to you, not according to me. Exactly. Mm. So, so if, if you believe God can make a mistake, it's your problem, not my problem. God has not made mm. a mistake, and He will never make. Correct. Be. Correct. God has not made a mistake. That is the reason Bible is not the word of God. And I'm proving to you that the Bible That's says answer. in the book of Genesis, chapter number one, verse number sixteen. Almighty God made two lights. The greater light is the sun to rule the day, the lesser light the moon to rule the night. So mm. Bible says light of the moon is own light. Now in science and Quran, it says light of the moon is not its own light. Mm. Light of the moon is not its own light. But, but the Bible says, specifically says that the light of the moon. Light of the moon is reflected. That is what the Quran says. Right. Bible says own light. Genesis chapter mm. 1 verse 16. Have you read it? I haven't read it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, mm. Almighty God created two lights, mm-hmm. the greater light and the smaller light. It's meaning a light of its own. Mm. So if Bible made a mistake, it made a mistake. I'm not insulting the Bible. I'm telling I'm you like how insulting. you told me I'm wrong. That's true. So mm. I feel insulted. I feel insulted. Correct. Why did you say I'm wrong? But it is wrong on me to feel insulted. Mm. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It will be foolish for me to argue and say, no, no, you know, just because you are saying I am wrong, I am insulted. You are giving me, you are trying to help me out, correct? Mm-hmm. You are trying to help me out or not? Yes. So same way I am trying to help you, brother. <laughs> no, sir. Mm. So same way, insulting any other religion is haram in Islam. Mm. You cannot insult, cannot degrade. But if you mention a fact, a fact is...